Good day, good day, good day, everyone. And once again, we are back together. Hopefully, you are working hard and trying to, uh, you know, um, uh, prepare towards your final exams. And uh, of course, uh, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure that you're part of this family and uh, tell as many people as possible that, hey, your favorite uncle is continuing to give uh, good content when it comes to maths and science. Right. So we're still continuing on that uh, question paper from uh, 2021. OK, the main June exam. And, and, you know, honestly speaking, the whole principle is, uh, you know, for us to just revise uh, the main or the full lessons are available. You can go through them if you're still struggling with the concept. OK, these are meant solely for just revision purposes. OK, right. So we are getting right into it. This time we're looking at calculus. OK, right. So first of all, they say to us, determine uh, f, f prime x uh, from first principles if it is given that f of x is 3x squared. Now, remember, any time that they tell us about first principles, we're finding the derivative using first principles in this case. So we know that fx is uh, 3x squared. OK. Uh, the formula that we always use is f prime x, which is going to be the limit, remember, as h tends to 0, okay, of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, right? So it means I'm going to take my f of x and first of all, I'm going to substitute f uh, x plus h. And please note, do not remove this until we substitute that zero value. We cannot do so initially because remember, anything divided by zero uh, is undefined, right? Uh, so this is going to be 3 into where I see x, I'm going to put x plus h. So I'm going to say this is x plus h squared minus f of x in this case, remember, that's 3x squared. So this is divided by h. So let's try and solve for that. Okay, I just want to give myself a little bit of space here. So that's f prime x. We're going to say this is limit as h tends to 0. So now we are dealing with um, 3. Now we're taking, in this case, quadratic equations. Okay, uh, so that's x squared plus... Now note, so that would be x squared, you'd say x multiplied by h, that's xh, multiplied by 2. Remember, when we repeat the bracket, so this is going to be 2xh plus h squared, right? Um, and in this case, that would be minus 3x squared, okay? Please, if you're still struggling with this, uh, it means you haven't been uh, practicing enough, okay? Um, so uh, please just make sure that you, you try and get yourself up to speed, okay? Right, so uh, that will be 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 3x squared. And it, it will always work out in such a way that you are left with uh, uh, just, uh, you know, the, the h... Um, uh, terms with h in them, okay? So this is divided by h. So now, what can we do? At the numerator, we can now, uh, so that's limit, sorry. So that is limit as h tends to 0. Remember, I have not yet substituted. So I'm taking h out. That will give me 6x plus uh, 3h, right? And that will be divided by h. And of course, what can we do now? We can divide both sides by h. Now, given that we have removed the h in the denominator, we can now substitute for h. And once I do that, I can remove the limit, right? So this will be 6x plus 3 times 0, okay? And I'm sure you can see how that will give us 6x. So it means that f prime x will basically be 6x. Okay, right. So that's, the, that's how we do that. Okay, so the next question, 
They say determine f prime x uh, if f of x is x squared, okay, plus uh, minus 3 rather, plus 9 over uh, x squared, right? So uh, remember, the first thing that we always need to do is make sure that we get rid of anything that will get uh, in our way, right? So we remove everything that has to do with uh, fractions, uh, brackets, okay? And again, if you have not watched this, uh, we've got a whole series on calculus. Uh, please just have a look at it. Um, you can find it in our playlists, right? So f of x in this case is going to be x squared. Uh, I think that was x squared, right? Uh, x squared minus 3 plus 9 over x squared, x squared minus 3 plus 9 over x squared, okay? So um, I'm going to rewrite this so that I, I don't have anything at the denominator in this case. Um, so I'm going to have x squared minus 3 plus 9 x minus 2. Now remember, that's the laws of exponents, right? Um, so now we can find the derivative. So we can say, well, f prime x, the derivative, is simply going to become 2x. Now I'm sure you know the constant term becomes 0. Okay, so this one jumps down, it becomes minus 2 times 9. That would be minus 18, right? Uh, x, now remember, jumps down and you minus 1. So that would be minus 2 minus 1, right? So that would be negative 3. And in this case, uh, that is our final answer. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, you know, get it back to having uh, positive exponents, you can say it's 2x minus 18 over x cubed. But it's really not necessary to express it in that form. Okay, right. So the next one, I think that's 8.2.2. So they give us g of x there. They want g dash x. Okay, so, all right. So that's 8.3.2. You see, I'm learning how to number. Ne? Uh, I'm making all of this effort so that it's easy for you to follow. Right, so we've got root x plus 3 and uh, root x minus 1. Okay, so gx, so we need to remove all the thirds. We need to remove all the brackets, right? So that would be root x plus 3 and root x minus 1. All right, now let's try and expand that. Okay, so that you see this. Uh, remember, root x multiplied by root x will give us x, so the, the roots will cancel, right? Um, in this case, then I've got minus 1 root x plus 3 root x. I'm sure you can see minus 1 root x and plus 3 root x would give us plus 2 root x because they will just simply uh, subtract each other, right? Um that would be uh, 3 times negative 1, it would be negative 3, right? So in this case, now let me remove all the thirds. So x plus 2, remember that the root becomes 1 over 2, right? Remember there's a, a 2 that's there, a 1 that's there. So that divided by that, so that becomes 1 over 2 minus 3, right? Okay, so that's g of x. Now I think we are ready to take the derivative, right? Please, you don't do so until you have removed all the sets, removed all the brackets, and, uh, of course, uh, removed any um, exponents in the denominator, right? So g prime x, that will be 1, okay? So, and then in the next one, it's the exponent multiplied by the coefficient, so that will be um, 2 times a half, that will give us 1, okay? And that will be x, okay? And a half minus 1, right? Uh, remember, you jump down and you subtract 1. 
So it will be a half minus 1. That will be negative 1 over 2. Okay, and I'm sure you know that the 3 will actually uh, cancel in this case. So if you wanted to write it as a positive exponent, actually you can leave the answer right here. If you wanted to write it as a positive exponent, that will be 1 over uh, x to the half, or you can even say 1 plus 1 over root x. Okay, uh, but in this case, it would be sufficient to leave it in that format. Okay, uh, that's nice, sweet, and short. Please, if you have not subscribed as yet, uh, please just hit that subscribe button. I hope these lessons are quite helpful. And please, it would be nice for me to hear from you, uh, you know, giving me those positive comments. And of course, if there's anything that we can adjust, it would be also nice to uh, uh, hear from you about that. Okay, so uh, please um, make sure that you hit that like button. And uh, uh, of course, you know, you're always uh, welcome to get in touch with us. And you can, by the way, download these question papers from our website. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, that's www.mlungisinkosi.co.za. Otherwise, ladies and gents, uh, please just keep working hard uh, because you know that the pain of discipline is much better than the pain of regret. I don't want you to regret when you get to the final exams, okay? I want you to be the winner that I know that you are. Otherwise, your favorite uncle will see you again next time. Shop, shop.